Hello, my name is Joseph Campos. I'm going to do my report on AFFF Balanced Pressure Proportioning Stations. AFFF Balanced Pressure Proportioning Stations get their names from the parts that are used in the system, such as AFFF Concentrate, a balance valve, a pressure proportioner. A balance valve is a valve that allows the proper amount of AFFF to be pushed into a system in volume measured by PSI. The proportioner uses a Venturi effect by forcing high volumes of water into little holes or jets, creating a Venturi effect, which draws AFFF into the proportioner, mixes, and pushes it out the other side. AFFF stations use outside sources of water. AFFF concentrate tanks are anywhere from 100 gallons to 2,000 gallons. There can be several different stations in one big system which are all interconnected by an interconnection valve. Majority of the time, HLF stations use centrifugal pumps due to their efficiency and their easy maintenance and repair. HLF stations can be found on cargo ships, Navy ships, cruise ships, any kind of refineries, and any place where there's high risk of Bravo fires. Now I'm gonna show you a one line diagram of an AFFF station that can be found inside an AFFF system. So how it starts off is very simple is there's an AFFF push button, which you can see right here. It opens up an SOPV valve, which this loosens up the pressure on side of the AFFF actuating valve. Once the AFFF actuating valve opens, that allows for AFFF to go through once it's mixed. If you follow my finger through the line, it comes back down and it opens up your master SOPV valve. Once the master SOPV valve opens up, this allows for your balance valve to open up, which allows the AFFF to go through and go into the, the AFFF pressure proportioner. Once the balance valve opens up, it's gonna turn on your AFFF concentrate pump, which is centrifugal, which pulls AFFF from the AFFF concentrate tank. Once it gets pulled through the pump, goes through the balance valve and into the proportioner. When that happens and the SOPV, master SOPV opens, your fire main actuating valve is also open and the fire pump is also kicked on, which pushes fire main through your piping into the pressure proportioner, which creates the Venturi effect and pulls in the AFFF. Once it's mixed, it gets pushed through the other side and now is called AFFF, and it gets pushed through the piping, and it goes up into the fire AFFF actuating valve, which opens up and goes into a space, which can have anywhere like such as bilge pump sprinkling, or hangar bay sprinkling, or it can be inside vats, or huge things of oil and refinery. Also. There is AFFF hose reels, which is in the same line. Once this ball valve is opened up, the build sprinklers or hanger bay sprinklers will shut off and allow AFFF to go into the hose reel, and that can be used for AFFF firefighting or manual firefighting. So that's just a piece of the whole thing. If you look, chew then can go to three different spaces or as many spaces as engineered. Um, same thing happens. If these push valves get pushed, the SOPV is gonna give the signal for the valve to open. AFFF is gonna go through that piping and into that space, also into that hose reel. Same thing for the other space, which is shown right there. And for the interconnection valve is here, which comes from a completely different station. The whole station has to be manually turned on 
this valve has to be open and it will fill the piping to go into any of these spaces. Once it goes into this piping, one of these valves are going to have to be manually open to allow the H lift to go into there. And that's where your redundancy gets kicked in. And then that's all I have for my report today.